What is going on, Collectors Optical 20? Back for another video review. Today, we're going to take a look at Bro Thor from Avengers Endgame. And you can order this figure at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put the link down below. All right. So I had... Um, <laughs> I said it before. I, I want to complete the Endgame line, but I'm going to wait for the right deals. I didn't get the right deal for this one, but I just... It just felt so close. Like, I, I think I only need... Um, Hulk right now, Professor Hulk, but I'm not going to jump on that. So I recently got, well, not recently, but, it, you know, the most recent figures that I had was Rescue and um, Infinity, um, uh, no, uh, Iron Patriot. So whether I'm going to regret this decision is up for debate, but I'm, I'm kind of all in right now. So the only one that I'm kind of almost positive I'm not going to get is Captain Marvel because I have one. And I'm not, you know, the biggest fan of that character. I just need one and the deluxe version. I can't sell that. You know, if I sell that, I'm going to get like $150. But uh, with this guy, there's some redeeming qualities for this bro to war. So I figured, you know what? He's one of the, you know, Trinity. Might as well get him. Um, again, I didn't get any deal. But if you wait a little bit longer, I think you could have him for a deal. He's been sitting for almost a year now. So... Is, you know, we'll talk about this. Is he a good figure? Is he a bad figure? He's Thor, basically. <laughs> Just in a, in a very specific form or a specific movie. And you can see all the accessories that it comes with. It's kind of loaded, honestly. You got Mjolnir. You got some light of function. Um, you know, you, you have all the gimmicks that it comes with. Minus the two uh, arms. Uh, the base is the base for the end game line, you know. Uh, so let's take a look at the accessories here. He comes with, as you can see here, two forms of gripping hands. One is for uh, Mjolnir, which is like a smaller grip. And the other one is for the Stormbreaker, which is, you know, again, even with that wider grip, he's still struggling. To, that's one thing that I, uh, I don't like about the Stormbreaker. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Perfect size. You know, it's bigger than the Infinity War. Love the light of functionality. But I feel like it's too top heavy. Like it's it's too heavy. Uh, that it feels like it put puts so much stress on the fingers, which is rubber, and also the joints. I wish it was a bit more lighter. I don't really know. I guess the handle, if you made it a bit more hollow, but you know, that's the only thing. But other than that, the weathering is nice as you can see here. I like all the details. The handle looks painted perfectly. Uh, Mjolnir, I have no complaints about. Man, when these guys light up, and I'll show you guys, you know, how it looks like, they are magnificent. And you can see all the weathering here, you know, like all the insignia and, and all the details, basically. And this one's light. It's not die cast like it was before. And I, it doesn't need to be. It has that impression that it's a die cast. But, and, and I trade in the light of functionality for it being a die cast. Die cast does nothing for me, as a matter of fact. I mean, at least on the hammer, because again, it's top heavy. So if once your figure is holding it, you almost have to hold it all the way in the top. So, you know, to compensate for the weight. But yeah, let's take a look at this, um, you know, lightning effects as well. This one is a bit easier now. You can see on the back compared to the Infinity War version where you have kind of have to pry it open uh, just to switch it up. And then you got some nice effects here for Stormbreaker and Mjolnir with Mjolnir. No problem. Stormbreaker, man, you're adding weight to already uh, a heavy, heavy uh, accessory. So, you know, it is really up to you uh, whether you want to do it. I, I I would do it, you know, you know, every here and there. But because they look just cool when they are just loaded up. You can see right here. And they, again, it does light up. And then it does have this effect where if there's a black light, I forgot what it's called, luminous effect. Uh, that it, it it shines nicely. Problem is, do you carry a black light in your pocket all the time? <laughs> and again, for photography's sake, you can simulate these effects in Photoshop if you know how to. If you don't, then this is nice, I guess. So this is, when you light them up, it's fairly easy. You see all those. And it's nice. It's This is not the first time they did this. They did it with Age of Ultron. But I think this is better because... It's kind of like hollow inside and it has this effect that you can see. It is just beautiful. You know, this cloudiness inside. And then you put in the black line in there. I just happen to have one. 
uh it's it is nice you know again if you are a bit challenged when it comes to photoshop at least the practical effects are here you can light them up go in the dark and then grab one of these you know like le um uv light flashlight so to speak that i do have here and bam you got this this beautiful effect with built in within your thor figure if you're just doing photography in your iphone that would work as far as tailoring and I, i'm gonna do a comparison video with thor in the future as well but it is very similar to the infinity war thor very few differences you know as far as trimming and all that stuff uh, but overall, this is basically a heavier set Infinity War Thor, body-wise. Um, you could, you know, the gauntlet is different. You know, he got this Viking look to him. Uh, so that's why the gauntlet, as you can see, you see the belly, you know, it's sticking out. It's it's quite nice, refreshing to see Hot Toys, to see like a superhero like that. Yeah, You see the edge of his uh, cape. It has this nice details on it. His boots even the sole of his shoes has this little threads in them that is just nice and the cape is actually you know beautiful as always with thor but it is really up to you if you want to get a uh, a different quality of cape you know more wired or something like that that is that is again totally up to you uh you get some pleats in there you don't need to in my opinion to go custom route as far as the cape because i think the vibrant thread is nice you get this nice pattern on the cape itself so you don't really need to but it, it is up to you because i do like you know the effects of having the uh the wired cape as well and you can see the scales on his arms going down to his pants which does have nice textures and details as well you can see there you know different textures as far as in his knee pads and the boots um you know two part as well so there's no you know articulation problems in there head sculpt i can't find a decent head sculpt and i don't think i nailed the head sculpt here the transition as much as i wanted to but here you go regardless i think it's a pretty strong likeness to uh chris hemsworth in this movie i like the overall look you know with this long hair beard this you know braided you know the flowing hair plus the hair you know you would think that this would hinder his articulation well true to a degree but not quite if this was 2015 perhaps uh but not this it has some soft uh hair that you could actually move it around plus it's not completely touching uh his shoulders so you can actually turn his head uh of course it would look kind of weird because it's going to be floating in the air in some aspects but overall it's not bad you know with the soft rubber that they use with the hair it's not completely solid like legolas from asmus back in the day that you can really can't really turn the head but in this case i, I think the head sculpt is pretty strong you get his, his uh, eyes has this luminance effect as well the problem is now his face turns purple so i don't know if there's another uv light that doesn't emit this purple effect let me know if there is one uh, i might get that but for the most part yeah the the eyes are gonna light up but you're gonna have this horrible and I, i'm trying to move the light away you know farther from the face but you still get that purple hue articulation wise you can see uh, yeah on the back part you have some but you can see you can turn his head and the hair kind of follows and it does it hits certain part of the armor but again it's not that bad arm wise you know you can you know make some movements here and for the most part his joints are ratcheted uh you buy this thor just like every other thor to be fair they're not possible you know you, you start with a torso where it's a full armor you got this elbow which is again hampered by that scale kind of rubber material right there uh the shoulders can you know rotate freely but you can put the arm as closest to the body as you could go right around there that mark but again because of the uh, armor now the knees could bend you know pretty strongly there but the legs pretty non-existent here that's as far as i'm willing to push this 
uh, I'm not gonna have him sitting down anyway so that's practically it and I forgot to show you guys this is this is pretty cool as you can see here that luminous effect when you have him all complete with those uh, uh, lights see that and then you got the lights on his chest and then this is me just you know kind of like bouncing the light the UV light off of his body and you can barely see the but the Mjolnir and Stormbreakers are lit up as well. I think they're pretty cool. You know, you can see me like moving around this light. And let's put him in some poses before we wrap this thing up. Here he is. You almost have to use two hands again. I wouldn't suggest him holding that Stormbreaker for a long period of time just because uh, two reasons. His hands, the grasp, I think it's going to loosen up over time. Or if you will, remove all the effects this is somewhat doable because he's holding it with both arms but again i wouldn't recommend it over time i mean if you want your thor to last long i i guess uh here he is wielding his mjolnir on his left arm you can see the arm you can push it up you know there's no problem with that whatsoever it's the different variations that you're gonna have trouble with the arms but again because they are it is a bit limited and he i used the stand again this thor I don't necessarily know if you need the dynamic stand. I mean, it's nice, but again, guys, from Hot Toys, give us the crotch grabber. I don't want this clamping down his waist because it's going to leave a mark, a dent on that plastic for sure. So I'm going to have to be creative with this one. So, but yeah, as far as poses, I mean, we can put him in myriad of poses, but we're not going to do so. Final thoughts on this guy. This is the most people would post him like this because it's pretty nice you know him hold wielding those two weapons of his you know kind of reminiscence of you know before he faces thanos and you know that lightning bolt i like this figure is it worth what they're asking for not necessarily is this the ultimate thor is this the the only thor in your collection no this is like a different armor for iron man right as a matter of fact it's not even that much different from infinity war i'm not gonna lie to you however you could create recreate that you know very iconic scene from a very iconic movie from endgame could you use the infinity war thor for that as a stand-in sure you could but the fact is he exists and the question is how much could you resist the fact that he's there and you don't have that you know what i mean uh if you could more power to you i i was weak i have to get him He's a nice figure. You could wait for a deal, but it's up to you. Again, thank you for watching, guys. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.